this is a dream for many gamers and crypto enthusiasts, being able to play your games all day and earning some serious ka ching ching at the same time. Crypto gaming can deliver on that for people. The crypto gaming narrative can mint millionaires, not just by playing, but also by investing in certain coins. But the question is, which coins have potential to deliver interesting gains this cycle? So stay with me until the end as we look at five coins that could be very interesting plays for the upcoming gaming cycle hype. Before we continue, let's look at some numbers. According to Precedence Research, the whole video gaming industry market size was estimated to be $248 billion in 2020. And it is projected to grow to 664 billion by 2033. This shows that there is money in gaming. Otherwise, why would big companies like Sony and Microsoft and others put effort into developing games? Major gaming studios are in now too. And that was the old pay to play model. Now, we have a different model. Blockchain gaming introduced something new that turned the industry upside down. Because with crypto games, players experienced the new play to earn model, whereby you play the game, you get rewarded in tokens and NFTs. Thus, you're making money for playing the game. Now, this all goes way back to the roots of crypto gaming. Crypto Kitties, considered to be the OG game in the space, was introduced in 2017 by Dapper Labs and allowed players to do all kinds of fun stuff, buy, sell, and create your NFT kitties on the Ethereum network. The most expensive of those crypto kitties ended up selling for 600 Ethereum, which is about $1.8 million today. Now, this development opened up a new genre of crypto gaming, which has developed wildly since those early days of bad graphics, bad gameplay. For the first time, players can earn from playing instead of paying to play games. Now, last cycle was a good cycle for gaming crypto projects. Axie Infinity and Gala, for example, dominated the niche with huge, huge returns for investors. Now, if you've been in crypto for some time, of course, you're going to understand that that you know, 20x gain or more, it's not going to be found in the top coins these days, but rather from taking increased risks by trying to find those smaller hidden gems or upcoming hot new shiny coins. Now, before we get in, just Please understand no one's paid to be featured in today's video. The information here is provided to you for free for educational purposes. It's not a recommendation for you to run out and buy, sell, or hold any of the coins being discussed. You still need to do your own research. Furthermore, I own the coins being discussed, or even in some cases, I'm a venture round investor in these. So please understand that. Some of these aren't even released yet, okay? Now, for full portfolio disclosures, please see the link in the description of the pinned comment next to see all my current portfolio holdings, as well as all my venture capital holdings. Plus, you'll find a risk statement there because guess what? Investing in crypto is risky. You can lose all your money. Now, let's get into it. A lot of you asked me if I like cat coins. Show some love to cat theme projects. Well, I am more of a dog person because I prefer pets that don't boss me around. But that's just me. However, I am willing to make an exception for this one. It's called Neon Heroes. This is a new game on Solana that is made as a love letter to cats. This is a shooting game, and it's all about cats piloting giant mechs. So basically, you have Garfield, but on a gundam robot, which is gone darn cool, if you ask me. With the use of AI and the Unreal 5 engine, the game developer was able to create a very interesting and immersive world for these cat piloted mechs to run around him. It's far cry from the old ugly blockchain games of yesteryears. Of course, no project will survive without support and its investors include Mechanism Capital, Jump and Infinity Ventures, all very big names in the crypto VC space. Its partners include Razor, which is an international technology company known for its gaming hardware, as well as working with Epic Games, the developer of the popular Battle Royale game, Fortnite. You've probably heard of it, even if you're not in gaming. The game right now, Neon Heroes, is in its early stages, and it's about to release some interesting airdrops. Hopefully, it's going to be pretty good. So, something to keep on your radar. The second game is Alluvium, an NFT role-playing game, an auto-battler rolled into one. And I know what some of you might already be thinking, but Lark, 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 that's a last cycle coin. Hear me out. Hear me out first. These guys are builders and the game looks beautiful and it's about to have a big moment in my opinion. I know the coin tapped around 1900 bucks in the last cycle. Its current price is like 90 bucks or something at the time of recording. So yeah, I, I get it. It's been hit pretty hard. Crypto gaming cycle hasn't really hit its hype moment yet. However, there's no denying that Alluvium is one of the good looking blockchain games out there. The developers are also working super hard all the time to improve the game. There's lots of major releases coming in this year. At the moment, they're conducting beta test nets. And according to the developers, they are using this 
opportunity to uncover bugs, enhance playability, and add in extra fun factors, all to try and ensure in a balanced experience that will keep you returning for more, which is really critical for any crypto game to have long-term playability beyond any sort of tokens or NFT incentives. Participants in the open and beta test nets will receive airdrops for their effort, valued around $25 million, by the way. The dedication from the developers is something that others could definitely learn from. Again, these guys are bear market builders coming out of the bear market stronger than ever. As for the tokenomics, the ILV token has a max supply of $9.6 million and about a $500 million market cap at the time of recording. So it's not exactly a super small cap coin. But we have to remember, games like Axie Infinity went on to reach wild valuations, $10 billion market cap in the last cycle. So even if we just take half of that, well, we could still see some interesting potential for Illuvium from here. We also have to take note that even though it was built on top of the Ethereum network, that Illuvium has actually partnered up with Layer 2 Gaming Immutable X to drive those gas fees down and make a good user experience. The lower gas, of course, then translates to better accessibility, which could attract even more players. Now, before we get into game number three, I want to interrupt the flow real quick to let you know about the best damn newsletter in the cryptocurrency industry. That would be my newsletter. I know. I'm biased, but it's awesome. Wealth Mastery Newsletter. Every week, we are bringing you the latest and the best insights on airdrops, meme coins, altcoin news, deep dives on altcoins, NFTs, technical analysis, and much, much more. You can join 125,000 weekly readers for free by using the link down below in the description on YouTube or in the pinned comment over on X. Thank you. Now, game number three, Farcana. This is another crypto-based shooter game. And you might be wondering why there are so many shooter games in crypto. Well, it's because it is such a popular sector of gaming more broadly, and developers are really trying to tap into and capture some of this segment of game players. Now, some of you might remember playing games like Counter-Strike or Doom or the original Call of Duty, stuff like that. Call of Duty alone has a lifetime revenue in excess of $30 billion. And why are these games so popular? Well, sociologist Ross Hafler, Hanofler, Fleur, Fleur, that guy, said that being ready to fight is an expectation of manhood. But it's hard to live this idealized version of masculinity and games thus provide a safe space to engage in virtual combat. In short, guys like to shoot. Surprise, surprise. Now, going back to the coin, Farcana is a multiplayer team-based third-person shooter set in a futuristic universe. The Dubai-based developers have extensive experience working with top gaming companies like EA, Wargaming, and Ubisoft. Its partners include Animoca Brands, which is a major gaming VC in the space, Polygon, OKX, and Dell. Now, if you rather want to play the trading game, the Farcana token has a max supply of 5 billion tokens, and right now around a $28 million market cap. Now, this type of market cap, generally what you're looking for, if you're looking for a something that could have that high potential for returns in the future. Injecting a little less than uh, you know, $3 billion could be enough for well, some really, really big returns, which is not impossible if we take into consideration how bullish this cycle could get and that gaming hype has not yet picked up. The next one on the list is yet to be released, Param. Now, Param Labs is a gaming infrastructure startup based in the United Arab Emirates. It's currently focused on developing games and gaming uh, infrastructure. Now, its flagship game is Heroverse, which, again, a shooting game with multiple modes like Battle Royale, one versus one and uh, free for alls. It has also secured a strategic investment from Animoca Brands. There's those guys again, again, major gaming VC, a real powerhouse in the Web3 gaming space. The success of any project, of course, is dependent on that community support. Now, both Param Labs and Kiraverse have more than 800,000 followers on X right now. So perhaps this is one to keep an eye on. And the last one here is Chrono Forge. And yes, another shooter game. I know if you like Doom, for example, this might be up your alley. The game takes all that traditional roguelike multiplayer RPG gameplay and then fuses it together with strategic player versus player and evolving world maps. However, unlike traditional games like Doom, for example, Chrono Forge leverages blockchain 
technology to allow for players to be able to trade their digital assets, right? Things come out as NFTs, rare digital items like gears and resources. They will be hard to find and valued as NFTs within the game, depending, of course, on the item scarcity. This makes the game challenging for both new and experienced players alike. So players have the option for that more traditional server-based account and fiat purchases. However, a crypto wallet is needed if the player wants to actually trade their digital items, aka their in-game NFTs. The project is in its very early stages and is backed by, again, some very big names like Swiss Borg and Citizen Capital. So maybe one to be putting on your radar. The crypto gaming narrative will always be popular, in my opinion, because people love games. And now we're starting to see games that are great games, not just crypto games, right? So maybe it's something that doesn't need to be mid-curve. Just people like games, people will buy games that they like. In the same way, people go out and buy meme coins because they like dogs and dogs are cute. If you like a game, you're probably going to be interested in that game's asset. With gaming coins, a shooter game is nice, so others will probably like it too. At least that's my thesis on it. Besides, shooter games have always been quite popular, even before all the blockchain stuff came into the picture. The only difference now is players can actually earn and can have full ownership of their game items, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Web3 is taking gaming to the next level. Now, if you'd rather invest in their coins or their in-game items, then your best bet is to look for, again, those newer games, the young projects, the things that have the potential to be the shiny new things of this cycle. They, in my opinion, have an interesting chance for those looking for opportunities in the market. But also you have to remember that trading is also a player versus player game and your portfolio will always be at risk. So please take precautions. Do your own research. Okay, guys. Very important. All this stuff has risk. Thanks for watching.